Hi everyone, it's about time that uh, I show you a home workout since we've been a few weeks in lockdown. Um, and what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you a combination of resistance bands, um, different exercises for your chest, shoulders and triceps. And then also, if you don't have bands or can't get hold of them, I'm going to show you some exercises you can do with just your body weight. Um, there'll be three stages of the body weight, so you've got beginner, intermediate and advanced movements, which will be plyometric, um, just so you've got a, you know, a variation of different things you can do. So with bands, um, if you don't know much about bands, usually the very thin ones um, and the lighter in colour, they're the ones that are the lightest in resistance. So these are good for beginners um, particularly. So we're going to use this one today first as a warm up. Then we've got the purple one, obviously much thicker. This has again got more resistance. I'm not sure on the actual, um, like how it equates to weights on this one because I borrowed it from my gym. Um, but these are primal strength bands and you can buy them from Ed at Ron Gym, Gym in Leon C Essex, obviously if you're local. Um, but you can look online and find thousands of different types of bands. So we've got this one as well. And then lastly, we've got this green one. This is the heaviest one I've got and the thickest. I do believe there's a black one. Uh, usually blacks are the, the most in resistance, but this green one will be enough for me personally, alongside with the other ones. So, to start off with, we're gonna work on a, a warm up for our chest, and it'll be a chest press with the yellow band. I've got this post here, which I'm gonna wrap the band around. And this will give me the leverage I need to actually do the chest press. So what you wanna do, you wanna wrap it over, and have it behind your back. If we have it too high, it's just, we're not gonna get any chest engagement. So we want it lower and the elbows tucked in. Just imagine if you'd be, um, let's say for example, doing a cable crossover, one leg forward, one leg back. And then from here, we're just gonna push the arms out. And keeping it all tucked in. If I go too high, the band's gonna come off. So I need to keep those elbows tucked in. As always breathing out as you push the weight away we'll do about 10 reps okay and then we move on to the next band okay so we've done the warm-up with the yellow band I did 10 reps on that it's nice and light now I've taken the purple band obviously it's got more resistance so I'm just gonna get my elbows in position again like I said before you want the band resting against the arms keeping it tight into your back we're going to do another 10 reps. So when you push out, make sure you really squeeze your chest and keep trying to resist on the way back. The band obviously has the resistance, but as we're not doing weights, any way you can increase resistance, do so. So here, at this phase, I'm squeezing my chest. And as I'm going back, I'm trying to resist the band even more. And squeezing the chest. It's a really good warm up. And it's actually a very good pump as well. And one more. So like I mentioned, we're going to do some body weight training as well. Body weight training is what I always put in my clients' programs. I always do it myself as well. If you can master that, you can master any type of weight lifting movement with actual weights in a gym. Um, so like I said, there'll be a few options. So I'm going to do, demonstrate a couple first. So for the beginners, if you're unable to do a regular press up with your legs out straight in a normal plank position, we will go on the knees and we'll do press ups. So I'll just quickly show you that. So I'm on my knees, hands are shoulder width apart, lift the feet up, I'm going to come down as low as I can, it feels comfortable, and press up. 
press up. So we're lowering ourselves down nice and slowly, probably for a count of two or three seconds. And we explode up. You really want to be as powerful and as fast as you can just to really start firing up that chest muscle. Okay, so we've done the beginner's one. Now we're going to move on to the intermediate press up. Now that is literally just a normal press up with your legs out straight in a plank position. So I'm just going to demonstrate that for you now. Again, hand shoulder width apart. You're going to be on your points, so on your toes. We don't want obviously our feet flat. And then from there, press down and explode up. Again, controlling yourself on the way down. Count of two to three seconds. Explode up. Right, so now we're going to move on to the advanced one, which is the clap press up. Now, this is one of my favorite exercises to do for really blitzing your chest as well as your arms. It's really good for the inner chest also. Now, if you're feeling brave and you find that the normal press ups are too easy or you don't have bands or the bands actually aren't really giving the resistance you want, I'd say give this one a try. Don't do more than sets, uh, reps of 10 because if you're doing it properly, it'll be enough. Um, the fatigue will set in and it's really good for a great pump. So we do sets of 10 for this, three rounds, just like we did for the other press ups. It's very important that you make sure you warm up fully for this one because there's a lot of stress on the shoulders and if you don't have that flexibility and residual strength there, you can quite easily hurt yourself. So it's far more dynamic um, and potentially injury risking because of the, the nature of the movement. So just execute with caution and don't go straight into it. I'd say maybe if you're gonna do it, do some regular press ups first, then when you feel good and pumped, give it a try. Anyway, so hand shoulder width apart, just like the other press ups, get into the press up position. And from here, we're gonna lower ourselves down. But this time, as you press up, you are going to push yourself off the floor. Your feet will also come off the floor at the same time. And then you clap when your hands are off the ground. So let's do some reps. So for the last one, I'm showing the body weight ones. I'm going to show you another body weight one. However, we will use the band whilst we're doing the press up. So for the purpose of this video, I'm using the purple one. Um, depending on what you find suitable, just use that one. You don't need to go too crazy with the bands, like in terms of how much resistance. You just want to do the press ups properly with a bit more resistance. So I'm going to use the purple one because this feels good for me. So what you want to do with it, you're going to wrap it over the shoulders and then have your hands like so. So you can see on my back, just resting on the shoulders at the top. I'm gonna get into the press up position, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap it once, wrap my hands over once, and then press out the band. So straight away, there is more resistance. We don't want the hands too close because it's gonna be more triceps. So you're gonna to have to keep your hands out with the bands trying to pull you apart. So from here, as you can see, I've widened the band, and then I'm gonna do my regular press up. And the whole time I'm doing this, the band is trying to pull me down as well as gravity. If that's too hard with the hands wrapped, you can just have it normally as we start in the beginning. So if the double wrap hand is not working for you, just keep your hands locked over like that, which will still add enough resistance. And continue your press ups. Again, we will do sets of 10 for three rounds. So we're moving on to triceps now. One of the best exercises I find you can do, if you have a post like this, we're gonna take the yellow band, so a slightly lighter one. We're gonna wrap it over. And from here, we will be able to perform a tricep push down, just like you would on a cable. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap my hands over. So from here, 
like so. Elbows tucked in, and then from there, I'm just gonna push down. Engaging those horseshoes, flexing the tricep at the bottom. And for this, we're gonna go quite high in the reps. So we're gonna do about 15 to 20 to really get a good pump and burn. If you want more resistance, you can wrap it again, wrap the hands over. So now I've increased it even more. But remember, keep those elbows tucked in. We don't wanna see the arms coming out. Keep them in, keep that mind in muscle. is a tricep kickback. Now you need something where you're able to adjust the band lower because this post here is too high to get the kickback. So this way I can go within my hip height basically and get a much better angle to actually do the kickback. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna wrap my hands over once on the band and again keep those elbows tucked in. And we're literally just gonna bring the back and flex out. Great tricep exercise. Straight away, I can feel it working. Just make sure when you come back, you don't go down, you go out. That's where you're gonna get the benefits. Do about 12 to 15 reps. Make sure you squeeze hard in this position. Okay, so the next body weight movement we're going to do is the tricep dip. There are two ways of doing this. You can either do it with your legs out straight or with your leg bent closer together. So beginner and intermediate. I'll show you the beginner version first. So what we're going to do with your hands, right next to your bum, tucked in tight. And then you see my, my feet are close together and my legs are bent. From this position, I'm just going to lower myself and I'm going to press up through my tricep to the back. So as you can see, as I'm going down, my bum is going down with me. So the legs are supporting me, just to help me. But you still get really good contraction at the top, even when you do it this way. So don't think because your legs aren't straight, you're not gonna get a good workout. Make sure you don't, need to, you don't lean too far forward, too far back, just keep yourself upright. Press up. The other way of doing it is with the legs out straight. This is what ideally I want you all to do, or we'll work up towards doing. So, resting your, uh, on your heels, sorry, the back to your ankles, and from here, you're gonna lower yourself and press up. So exactly the same as before, but now the legs are straighter, so there's a bit more stress on your arms and shoulders. Sets and reps to do three sets, about 12 to 15 on both. You can also do it under time, 30 seconds rounds, um, with 60 second break. That's what I'd recommend more so for getting that burn. Right, so the last banded exercise today will be a standing shoulder press with the band. Now I've got the green one because for the, the purple and yellow one, they're not too, it's quite easy for me. So I'm gonna take the green one so I get enough resistance for what I need to do. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna step on the band, feet fairly narrow, and then from here, with an overhand position, you're gonna bring the band up and take your elbows through. So elbows are coming through, and then you're gonna bring them up high. And from this position, with the band just under your chin, you're gonna press up. Bring it back to the chin, press up. breathing out the top. You can also do it behind the neck if you like, but it's much harder. So for this video, just keep it to the front. Nice and explosive as you push up. Really good all round movement for front, side, and back of the deltoids.
We do 10 to 12 for three to four sets. <laughs> the last exercise, which is going to be another alternative to the band work. Obviously, you saw before we did the band shoulder press. So, hit the shoulders with body weight. There's only really two exercises one is a pike press up, and the other is a handstand press up. Most people can't do a handstand press up, so I'm going to show you an exercise that I think is great for your overall shoulder development. And it's kind of an exercise that will help build you towards being able to do a handstand press up. So, what you want to do with something solid behind you, like a flat wall, you're going to put the soles of your feet right up against that. And then we want the hands shoulder width apart. From here, this position, you're going to straighten the legs, tuck your head in, and then lower your head to the floor. And press up. So in this position, all the stress is on my shoulders and my traps. My chest is barely working. The triceps are helping a little bit. Um, but it's a very difficult movement. It does take practice, but like anything, practice makes perfect. So again, legs straight, head up to. rep it out. Three sets of 10 to 15 reps should be enough. Hope you enjoyed the workout guys. Tune in soon for my next workout which will be a pull session. We'll be working our biceps and back with both ropes um, and also our body weight.